Hello everybody. Uh, this is a tutorial on uh, how to uh, change some of the settings on your uh, bar top arcade. Uh, we are going to go into the configuration menu and show you how to set uh, ch set up some of the features on uh, your games and change some of the settings that are um, available for you. Uh, first thing you want to do is uh, want to go ahead and power down your uh, machine. Uh, turn it off and then what you're gonna come and do is uh, press the uh, player 2 button and keep pressing it while you turn the machine on. So let me go ahead and uh, put the camera down and go ahead and do that. Keep pressing the player 2 button while you turn the machine on and even if after on keep pressing that button until you see this on the screen. When you see that you can release the button and it will verify some of the electronics uh, and then it would come up onto the main uh, screen which is uh, just basically uh, a screen that we use to calibrate the monitor. There's really nothing you can do here so you want to go ahead and uh, move on to the next screen. To do that you want to come and pl press the player 2 button and when you do that it's going to bring you up to the next screen. Um, this is the screen uh, where you're going to be able to uh, clear your top scores. If you didn't know this or if you did, uh, this machine will keep your top score on all the games even if you unplug it. It will not uh, unfortunately keep your lettering or your um, title, you know, whatever you put in there. Uh, but it will keep just a uh, top score on all the games. So if you want to go ahead and clear that at any time, what you want to have to do is actually press the player one button and the fire bu uh, button, the first one, at the same time. When you do that, you will see that it will clear your high score and then it will go to the default mode on all the games. Uh, to go to the next menu, coming back press the player 2 button and it will take you to the system setup the system setup is uh, basically uh, how the arcade machine is going to operate the main menu and uh, what um, some of the features are is um, actually like um, how the coin mechanism is set up uh, as you my guess that uh, these machines are set up for free play um, so there's uh, nothing here you should actually change if you do change that accidentally you want to go ahead and come to where it says free play and then you're gonna want to go ahead and change that to say yes and at any time you want to change any of those uh, uh, settings you want to press the first player button or the red button whichever color you got and then it'll say yes that means that um, you don't need any coins to operate the games um, this one is set up for no because on this one we are uh, putting in a credit button which is a new feature that we just added so it actually makes it look like a, an actual um, coin mechanism but it's just a credit button and what this does is when you press it it will give you the credit for that coin if it had a coin mechanism so that one is the the reason that's why it's set up that way um, you know if, if you didn't if you didn't uh, see the way that I'm moving the menu is through the joystick so the way you move it is up and down and right to left to move to the, some of the settings and as you move the settings you actually see these things highlighted so when you change uh, something you can actually see how these are highlighted and that way you know which one you want to change so uh, the game demo sound that's uh, when the games go into demo mode uh, like a preview and you can actually hear the actual sounds of the game and um, by default uh, this is set up to hear that game out uh, audio when you're uh, on, on preview but if you want to change that you can come and change that there um, the next one is the demo music. The demo music is the one on the main menu where you choose the game. If you f for any reason don't like that sound, the music, you can go ahead and turn it off 
and then you will just uh, see the games there you won't hear any music uh, unfortunately there's no other sounds other than that music so there's nothing we can really do you can only turn it off or, or leave it on um, so we'll go ahead and leave that on and then um, this one you should really leave it that way because it's just uh, for the cabinet upright um, there the other one would be actually for the cocktail but um that would actually inverse the screen if you're play, playing two buttons so you don't want to have that um and then of course you have the trackball which is an option that we offer but it's not set up on this one so we'll just go ahead and leave that alone okay to go to the next menu you come back remember press the player 2 button and it will actually take you on to the Miss Pac-Man uh, game and see see these are the settings here um, if you see it's set up for three lives when you start a game if you want to change that you come and change some of these um, settings here and at that moment it will change it to five lives if you come to the next one see how it's, it's still highlighted and then you can change it to two so you can go ahead and play with this and see what the options are and like right there the extra life that you get would be a 10,000 points but you can change it to 15,000 points or even to none so it just depends on how you want the game to be set up and the difficulty here you can ch it's uh, left for easy but you can make it hard so if you if it's just too easy for you you can come and change it and then you actually have the speed of the way that miss pac-man moves it's set up to normal which is arcade play but if you want it to go faster you can go ahead and change that and then on miss pac-man you can actually change the dots that she's eating from just being dots to hearts so if you like that you can come and change that uh, we'll go ahead and move on to the next screen remember player 2 button it'll take you up into the Galaga Galaga has um, kind of the same settings you know difficulty or hard okay and then it has continuous continuous shooting which um, you don't need to press the fire button to shoot um, this one we'd set up to no which is a, a default on the arcade so you have to press the uh, fire button but if you want to uh, eliminate that you can go ahead and change it to yes um, extra lives same um, you know same way that you change on this uh, pac-man you come and change it here and you can see some other way that these are set up and this uh, the lives that you actually start with you can do the same thing so you can go ahead and change go through the each page and it'll take you to each of the game you know Frogger it'll take you to Donkey Kong